All right. Neon tutorial is finally here. You guys have been asking. You guys have been waiting for so long. This tutorial is going to be for freaking noobs and for freaking experienced noobs. So, I mean, it could be for any rank. If you want to learn this agent, this guide will be useful. You know what else would be useful, though? If I could get free skins playing this game, man. I play this game so much. Hold on. Yeah, wait. Oh, you're telling me... Wait, you're telling me that exists? Hold on. Buff? What is buff? Guys, by downloading the sponsor of today's video, Buff, you can actually get free skins and cool stuff just by playing your favorite games like Valorant, Minecraft, League of Legends, and Fortnite, just to name a few. What I like about Buff is that it's super easy to use and it's free. All you gotta do is download Buff and run it in the background while you play. And while you play, you'll be able to stack up those Buff points to be able to redeem those free skins and Valorant points that you want. And if you're a gamer like me, guys, don't worry. Buff does not affect your FPS at all. And it's very safe to use since they're an authorized app of Overwolf and they've got more than 5 million users. But yeah, if you guys want to get those free skins, Buff is actually giving 70 extra buff points to anyone who joins in the month of June. So if that seems like something you're interested in, join Buff for free using the link in the description below. And uh, have fun collecting those free rewards. Once again, just want to give a huge shout out to Buff for sponsoring this video and to you guys for supporting the channel so much recently, man. We're already about to hit 30k subs. I truly, truly appreciate it all. But uh, yeah, let's get back to learning some Neon. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use all of her abilities and how to play her on attack and defense. Uh, a little bit about myself, if you guys don't know me. I've been one-tricking Neon ever since she came out. I've been Radiant ever since she came out. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm the best Neon to ever do it. I mean, Optic Victor, like I had actually met Optic Victor at uh, Starbucks and he was like, yo, teach me how to play Neon. And I was like, hey, Optic Victor, chill, like Optic Victor, chill. And then he was like, nah, bro, like I really need this before VCT. And I was like, listen, bro, like it's going to cost you. So then he. Um, so then that fool just that fool started throwing it back on me like that shit was crazy. Uh, anyway, let's get into this video. The first thing you want to know about this ability before you even start anything on Neon is that you should always, always, always pull your gun out before sprinting. If you have your knife out and you do a slide, you're going to pull your knife out. But if you have your gun out and you do a slide, it'll pull your gun out with no pullout animation. You can get free frags off of it. For Neon's sprint ability, you're going to want to get good and you're going to want to have a basic understanding of movement. Know how to, you know, b-hop and strafe around and know how to like redirect your movement and just be comfortable moving around on this agent. This won't be a movement guide, but I just want you guys to know that you're just going to want to, you know, get comfortable on the agent. You want to practice? There's probably movement guides out there. You want to practice? Just go on Icebox. Have some fun jumping around with their sprint, trying to jump on things, you know? Doing, I'm out of here. doing basic stuff. But once you got the basics down, now I can tell you how to actually utilize this ability. So you're going to be using this ability to do everything. You're going to be using it to mainly entry. You're going to be using it to rotate. You're going to be using it to reposition yourself. You're going to be using it to do everything. You're always going to be sprinting on this character, basically. Don't worry about running out of energy if, let's say, you're rotating. Like, let's say I'm doing a full rotation here. Let's say I run out of energy. Your energy bar replenishes on each kill you get. So if I'm out of energy and I get a little one tap, boom, I'm already max energy. And it helps because I rotate it so fast. One thing I would note though, is to save energy if you want to go for some kind of slide play. So for example, when you're super low on energy, you can't perform an instant slide. And if you equip your sprint, it's just basically useless when you're under like 10 energy. But if you have like around eight energy, you can perform a slide as fast as possible and it'll it'll go off. Also, I'm almost always be hopping and strafing around on this agent when I'm sprinting. And the reason being because it's a lot harder to shoot you and you can perform a slide very easily if you're be hopping and strafing and you get shot. So, for example, like in this clip here, I already got a few picks on A and I'm just rotating for free. I'm just be hopping. I know the raise is going to be on B and my whole team dies to her, I see her and I instantly redirect my movement and slide. And I plant the bomb 
reposition elbow with the sprint and then I finish around by acing because I'm just the best. Okay, now we can get to the uh, the fun stuff. Which is the slide, the slide, sliding, sliding backwards, sliding sideways, sliding upside down, sliding forwards. Neon's slide ability. This ability is probably the most intricate thing about Neon. It's not that crazy, but it has a lot of cool things you can do with it. Let's break it down though. Let's break it down. So, I mean, in the most basic form, you have a run slide. And then you can also walk slide. While walking, you can just perform a slide. And you have the B-hop slides. Which is what I mainly use. Almost always B-hop and walking slide. I'm almost never sliding while just running. Sometimes I do, but it's just situational. You guys definitely want to learn how to do the cool sliding stuff. But hey, slow down. All right, slow down. Because can't go that fast yet. In order to slide in any direction you want, you have to be inputting some kind of forward or sideways momentum. Can be diagonally too. You can be holding W and D, W and A. Just it has to be forward or sideways, it be diagonally. You have to have that forward momentum right before you input your slide. So what that means is let's say I want to perform a backward slide while running. I'm gonna hold W, and right before I input S to go backwards, I let go of W. Go over that again. I'm holding W, I let go of W, and right when I let go of W, I press S and slide backwards. Doing a backwards slide while running has no use. Actually, I've never found any use for it. But if you wanna slide in any direction while jumping, the only thing that's different is you're letting go right before you land. So I'm out of here. it looks like it's, I'm letting go of W right when I land. Like right when you hear that, right when you hear that little thud, you can let go a little before or a little after you hear that. It doesn't really matter. But, but yeah, um, these rules of like momentum are super useful for knowing when you're jumping off of really like tall things. Like let's say I'm jumping off of screens, for example, you're gonna need to hold W all the way until you land. Cause if you don't, what's gonna happen is you're gonna input D too fast and then you're not gonna be able to slide. But then again, that is only if you wanna slide backwards. So obviously you don't need to let go of W or sideways if you just wanna do a normal slide. Yeah, that's how you uh, master slide. I recommend just getting comfortable with sliding in any direction because it, it is pretty useful to just know at all times and be comfortable with sliding. Another cool little thing about slide is that you can cast it while you're throwing any ability out. So let's say, for example, I'm running, I'm throwing a wall out. You can slide at the same time you throw a wall. I wouldn't really say that's too useful of a mechanic, but it can be used in certain situations if you want to like slide out of a line of sight if someone swings you while throwing an ability. Also, uh, walk sliding is very, very useful. One of the most useful things that came from the new update. There. Um, let's say there's a guy right there and you have like no utility. You just want to catch him by surprise or something. Um, I'm out of you here. just hold walk and then you got to be moving forward or sideways. And then slide fuck shit on him. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just not gonna expect it. And if he hits that shot, GG's go next. NT. Okay. The next ability we're gonna go over is Neon's stun. This ability is probably the most useful ability in Neon's kit. You can stun people, you can stun people, and you can freaking bounce it. You can bounce it. That's the most important part. You can bounce it. Bouncing, you want to learn the stun bounce. You want to learn how it bounces. You want to learn how it how it bounces. And you want to learn how it moves when it bounces. You know what I'm saying? So like, let's say there was a guy right here and I, and I wanted to stun him out. I'll show you guys the incorrect way how to stun him. You peek and stun. No, you're a freaking noob. What you want to do if there's a guy right there and you want to stun him out, you're going to want to like throw it like right there. Boom. That full stun. You know what I'm saying? That's just neon mastery at its finest. That's what I'm saying. You got to just 
it's just a feel. Just keep playing Neon, learn how it bounces. You don't even need lineups on this agent. People ask me, Oh, Shiro, why don't you got lineups? I don't need lineups. I just be bouncing. I just be biting my blankie. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh, one thing I really like doing on this, on Icebox with stuns, and a useful tip you need to know is that if you stun it off of ceilings, it'll still stun everything. Like, it'll just stun everything. So, uh, the stun goes through everything. So, if someone's pushing A on Icebox, I'll usually, like, just stun pipes and this off of the ceiling. And boom, they're all stunned when I peek. And then, and then it's just boom, 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 ace. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> But yeah, other than that, uh, really important is you got to know Neon's stun and slide combo is her bread and butter. This is her this is her yummy breakfast sandwich on a breakfast morning butter, buttery, crispy sandwich. I need you guys to know that Neon is nothing without stunning and sliding. So when you have your stun and slide up, you're almost always guaranteed a free kill as long as you stun the guy. I'm going to be honest, though. Neon stun isn't that good. Uh, I get one tapped a lot while I'm stunned, but more times than not, I, I'm, I don't get one tapped because you have to have good movement. What that means is say there's a guy right here and you stun him. You're not going to slide straight at him. No, 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 no. You, so there's a guy right there, right? You stun this. Boom. You're going to want to go into a direction where he has to flick his mouse, not where he's already pre-aiming at you. you. You know what I'm saying? Just try to be unpredictable with your movement because at the end of the day, it, when you're in these high ranks, people are going to one-tap you even if they're stunned. It, it, the neon stun doesn't even give them that much brain damage, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that is her bread and butter combo, stun and slide combo. You guys will see me doing this combo every single day on my stream. Uh, follow my Twitch if you haven't already. But yeah, you guys will see me doing that combo. I mean, it, that, that, that's that's all I do on Neon. That's that's how you get kills on Neon. That's... That, I'm gonna name it... That's the yummy combo. That's the yummy combo. Because that, that shit is just yummy. Like, you get a kill. Boom. Stunned out. Boom. There's a guy right there. You know what I'm saying? That shit is just yummy combo. Now, after you've mastered the stuns, after you're comfortable bouncing around stuns, like your name is Shira RZ. Now you can start throwing some walls around. You know what I'm saying? Neon's wall. Uh, listen, this ability kind of sucks, but it's also kind of amazing. This ability lets you run into sites by yourself, creating the space that your teammates need. Okay, that's the most important use of this ability because they took wall damage out. All right, so Neon's wall works in a couple of ways. Um, it's got properties to it. You know, it, in the most basic form I can put it, it's like a Viper wall, right? But it goes over things. It will go over things. Like if I throw it over, it will have a gap where it's going over. A better example for this is in mid. If I throw this wall over tube, it's going to have a gap right here. But if I throw it under tube it won't have a gap there and it'll go all the way through so i mean that's as simple as you can put it you can throw it over things and it has a range to it it's not like viper wall where it's like crazy range but it does it does do some nice things you can throw it over you can throw it over stuff throw it over you know it even goes a little bit to be main from there like it's it's got some nice range to it and it depends at the angle you're looking at too, because if I'm throwing it over here, it won't go all the way. But let's say you throw it like straight ahead over, it's gonna go all the way across. And it's gonna, you know, it's gonna go through everything. So yeah, just um, something to know. If you throw it too high, it's not gonna go anywhere. See? So yeah, you're going to be a uh, really important tip for the wall is you almost never just want to throw your wall and just run in it like a freaking stupid idiot. Uh, this is not what you want to do because more often than not, people are just going to swing your wall because first of all, it does no damage. Second of all, if they hear you running, you're a free kill. They're just going to swing. 
what you want to do to counteract that is what I like I said that's why you got to learn the basics you throw your wall you're gonna be wanting to strafe jumping around gathering info on both sides of the wall like like just jumping around I mean not really it's not really gonna be that crazy but you do want to be you know trying to be un unpredictable with your movement even inside your wall because uh, people will swing that wall it is it, people will swing that wall and half the time I'm not even playing inside my wall I'll have walls where I just cover off a certain area so that I can get into an, another area and take space for example, on bind, I have walls I default towards. Like, on attack, I'll stun out U-Haul so I can't get swung. And then I'll jump on this box, throw that wall, and jump towards the side and take U-Haul with a stun and slide. And I'm in. Okay, you don't stun yourself. Very important, though. You have to realize how your walls affect your teammates. I'll go up, throw my wall, and do my stuff as fast as possible. And you guys have to realize that... People can easily hide here and swing off the wall and kill your teammates if you don't come to them and if they don't know. A good example of messing your teammates up with your wall is say sites with like choke point entries like this. It could be B uh, on bind. It could be B on a scent, A on a scent. Just, you know, where you got to go out somewhere and then you can see the entire site from like an entrance, right? What a lot of noob neons might do is like, they'll just throw a wall and like run in it. And they'll think this is good because they're trying to make space. No, what a wall like this does where it splits the site or it splits the entry or it just blocks the entire vision of the entry. That That's just, I never do that. It's just so bad. What you want to do is you're going to want to try to throw a wall that would help your team like... I don't really ever go out B long too much on Neon, but when I do, if I want to throw a wall, I'll do like a wall like that where we still have control over like an entire side of the site and we can, we're not just blocked off vision. The worst thing you want to do is put your team in a position where you guys are like all running through this wall and you guys just all get sprayed and you die. You can't see anything from sight. Unless, 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 now that is unless you combine it with like pop flashes. Let's say you guys want a quarter night of a flash play. You have a flash character like Sky or KO. Boom, you talk to them. Yo, let's flash out the right side of this wall. Boom, go, go, go. That's where you could do the, those type of walls. You know, it's all situational. This character is very flexible. You can do a lot of cool things. But that's it for the walls. You guys will get used to all the habits of players, how they play around your walls. Um, it just takes experience and practice. You just got to keep playing Neon and you will get better over time. Now, let's get to her ult. Now, this ult is very good and very bad at the same time. It takes about seven ticks to kill someone close range. And at long ranges, it can take around like 15. So you're gonna wanna get some good tracking. Um, so the main thing you're gonna wanna know about her ult is that you wanna ult only if you're at a very healthy HP. I'm talking like 75% and up. Because if you're two shots away from dying and you pop your ult, it's just GG's. You're going to get one tap. You're going to get body shotted before you can even kill someone. Uh, uh, like the ult is like, it's just not the best ability in the game. But, but there is situations though. It's all situational. The ult is very situational. Remember that. Remember that and still it in your mind. Her ult is very situational. If you have a full kit of util, you can work magic with her ult because if people are stunned out, they're not gonna be able to hit you that many times. Their fire rate isn't gonna be faster than yours. They'll maximum get like one body shot off you if they're lucky enough. Things to know. One, you wanna ult if you're healthy. Two, you wanna ult if you have almost all your util. Three, you can ult if you want a slide reset because let's say I'm out of a slide and then I gotta do a cool play or something, you know what I'm saying? You always want to know that your ultimate will reset your slide ability. So you stun someone out, boom, you get the slide back. Basically, if you have your slide, 
you always want to use it before you pop old. I mean, it, it's like it, it'll give you more space. It'll give you, you you're going to look cooler. It's going to do a lot of stuff. So every time I have slide, I will always pop my slide and ult at the same time. You slide and ult if you have your slide before your ult because it just it gives you a free one. Why wouldn't you use it? What I do a lot of times is I'll use the slide reset to gain a lot more speed and create a lot more space a lot quicker. So one of my favorite plays to do in this game is when i have my ult i'll run it down mid on any map and i'll use my sprint i'll throw my wall i'll slide and i'll double slide and i'll just be up before the team can even know it you know what i'm saying like you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be throwing them off crazy they're gonna call mid but you're already up b site behind them one thing you should note about this ult as well is that you're gonna run out of energy a lot um and your ult's gonna run out if you don't get kills so this clip is a very good example of me getting a refresh kill on my energy um you can see me go past this wall i realize my energy is running out so i switch back to my phantom and then once my energy is up i can just switch back to my ult. the breach gets tracked out midair then i get shit on uh, another useful thing you want to be doing with this ult is pre-firing angles is pretty helpful it makes you less hittable if someone swings a corner uh in this clip you can see me pre-firing a bit i don't really get a kill with pre-fire but sometimes it does get you a kill um and then here i kill the viper up top and i swing this kill droid with the pre-fire i just want you guys to note that it's very very useful all right now that we went over all of her abilities we can finally get over how to play her on attack and defense first We'll start off with defense though um generally on defense you want to be playing somewhere where you can take control of somewhere early with her stuns uh let's say for example on haven i'll usually play a lobby and when wall drops i'll stun i'll stun lobby and try to take control i'll even just throw a stun just to have it there just to stop their push instantly and to gain control and to gain information of a long um, you want to be playing for these early picks if you can on Neon and asking your teammates for util to help you out. Another thing very, very useful is jump peeks on Neon. If you don't know how to jump peek, uh, you're definitely going to want to master jump peeking with this character since her jump peeks are a bit faster than usual and a lot harder to hit. Um, if you don't know how to jump peek in general, you should definitely learn. There's probably tutorials out there. I'm not going to do a tutorial for sake of the time of this video but yeah just know you should be um you should be trying to take control of those early spaces and if you don't see anything you can rotate very quickly obviously with her sprint you're gonna be a fast rotator you're gonna you should be there to help your team and if possible try to save a stun for retaking sites retaking sites is a really big part of defending and neon does that so well Using your stuns and your walls to retake site is so useful. Like, let's say, for example, they plant C. I'll usually stun default for my team, and I'll say, like, I'm walling logs. Boom, we're stunned back site, maybe. And then we have this control, and someone just has to watch this swing out the wall. It's, it, it's, she's so useful for retaking. So if possible, you also want to save util for retake. It's easy to get over aggressive on this character, but just try to relax because your util is actually very useful for your team to stall pushes, to retake sites, to just help your team out. Very useful. So I know it's easy to like catch someone and you just want to stun and jump at them. But let's say, you know, there's a guy cubby and you stun this, you want to jump and slide. You want to only do some crazy shit like that if you know that your team has already cleared all of mid, and even still, it's going to be risky. So, I don't know. Like, you don't want to just play too aggressive and give yourself up for free picks. Another thing, another thing on defense is you can flank very, very fast and unexpected on this agent. A lot of the time when I'm playing A and I stun, I do my lobby stun, I run up, I take control and my team calls like a fast C hit, I'll use my entire bar to be flanking. If there's a chamber trip, you wall it off. Usually people will put chamber trips like there. here or here, there. and you can easily, you can easily just wall it off, run to the other side of it. See, one thing though, is like if there's a chamber trip there and you throw the wall right there, um, sometimes it might scan you because of this little gap. 
What you want to do to avoid stuff like that is throw it like that. So it covers that little corner. And then you can just run through. And then I'll be flanked fast. And then you want to start walking around here to regain your energy. And then you'll have like a perfect flank. This character is very good for fast flanking unexpectedly. I do it a lot of times. But uh, yeah, on defense, just remember that you can make aggressive plays work. Uh, as long as you're combining util with your team and communicating with them and you can rotate very fast you can delay and stall pushes and you can even just straight shut down pushes with your stuns a lot of times people will run up long i'll stun and they'll be stunned out and my team will be able to get free frags off of it you want to help your teammates out a lot with stuns on defense and just try to be a good teammate try not to be too much of a solo player and uh yeah now let's get to attacking now for attacking neon excels in just running in like you just don't care about anybody but you have to do it while using your util for example a lot of times when i'm taking a i will start the round off by stunning short so no one can peek it and then my teammates will like have the silver dart or something long while i'm running up i'll throw my wall up i'll stun default and then boom all of that is stunned while i'm running up and i just got to clear all of this right side but usually someone there. will be playing back default and they'll be stunned out or graffiti there. and i'll just be able to get it such a free frag um but then again you want to make sure that you're not too too far ahead of your team unless you're really feeling yourself and you feel like you're just in just 1v9 yeah you don't want to be too far ahead of your team because you want to let them have a little bit of time to trade you or to play off your util and yeah, on attack, I mean, you're going to be clearing out angles and you're going to be you're going to be you're going to be first in. Basically, you want to you want to be that guy entering for your team. A lot of times people will look at my KD on this character and they're like, oh, you got a negative KD. Yeah, listen, my KD is not the greatest on this character. I don't care. I run in. I get the info for my team. I get the stuns off. I let my team trade off of me. We win so many games because I'm just going in there and I, I, I just creating that space. It's so important on this agent. And you want to make sure your stuns are clearing common angles as well. Like on B side takes, I'll stun that. So it stuns this corner where people play a lot. But there will be games where playing fast and explosive will not work. So what you want to do when that's happening is you just want to make sure that you can play off of your YouTube. Try to find plays and try to get those yummy combos down, bro. If you can find some yummy combos, try to find someone pushing. For example, like what I'll do sometimes when my explosiveness isn't working is I can throw a wall and a stun and try to bait out someone swinging the wall because a lot of times people will swing this wall when they think a neon is gonna run through it. And it'll be a free kill because I'm just sitting back and baiting it out. Try to be flexible because running in will not always work. But most of the time, you will be playing fast. You will be just going for, you know, kills and, and letting your team know where you want to go. And letting your team know what util you want is very, very useful. It'll score you guys a lot of rounds. For example, Omen Blinds are really good with Neon since they have a lot of range and you can just blind someone out and run into wherever you want to go. But yeah, I mean, that's about enough explaining I can do. Let me go over some clips to show you guys and give you guys a better understanding of what I mean by all this on attack and defense. Hopefully it gives you guys better insight of what I'm thinking and how I play this character. So in this clip right here, we're on attacking on Fracture and I pop my ult to entry. I stun out towers. Tower is very good to stun out on Fracture. Um, once the chamber TPs out, I'm just looking arcade for any flanks and then I got kind of get cut off from my teammate here. Turns into a 4v2 and we managed to get two picks here, making it a 2v1. And then I see the Viper there in CT, so I throw my wall to cover off the right side of sight and I swing out the wall, knowing he's gonna be peeking that because the wall's there. And I split the chamber from his teammate. He forced the TP back to his TP. Um, I stun CT out in case he wanted to peek, fake the plant, and just, I know he's going to be there. Uh, it's just goat shit, you know what I'm saying? But just notice the util usage there and try to get creative as, as I do. Next clip here, I'm um, starting out A on defense. I'm throwing stuns to try to stall pushes. My team is dying. Luckily, I get out with one HP here, trying to just stay alive and play with my team with the little HP I have left. 
I don't reckon play it. Oh, my Cypher gets one mid. So it's a little bit easier to retake. And then my Viper gets one, making it a 3v3. So now I'm thinking this is winnable. I hold back sight here because I know it's 3v2 and they just want to win the round. Viper ults. And I kill the Reyna for swinging like a stupid idiot. Now, watch this stun I throw as I force Jet out of that position. And I just know that he's going to be walking Maze because of that stun. That's what I mean by knowing how to stun, how to bounce the stun, because it's very useful even when you don't have lineups. It's just very useful for getting people out of positions when you know where they are and forcing them to walk where you want them to, if that makes sense. You don't even need to actually stun them. Okay, and in this last clip, one more retake clip. I know they have full B site control, and from this Sky ult, I know Sky, CT, and Omen's going to be playing somewhere else. So, I jump onto this box to try to just be crazy and get the info. And Omen is just lost. He doesn't even know. I tap bomb and I know Sky CT, so I hit it with the unexpected walk slide. And I mean, you just can't kill that. It's just. You can mix up so much stuff and throw your opponents off on this agent. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, you're crazy. I hope you learned Neon. I hope you learned a lot about Neon. And I hope you get good and rank up on this character. If you guys have more questions, leave a comment down below if I miss anything. If you guys want me to go over stuff. If you guys want me to make a video of just me going over clips. And yeah, I mean, you guys can come through to the stream. Give me a follow. If you're not already subbed, hit the sub. And uh, yeah, good luck learning Neon, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed.